Hey there, what's happening traders? Welcome back to yet another version of Trader Talk. It's yours truly, Dapper Wallace, and today I'm very glad to be back on YouTube. I'm very glad to be back sharing my ideas about the charts. I'm very glad to be back on here, you know, coming to impact you guys as much as possible. Um, for most of you guys who follow me um, on a week-to-week -week basis, you know that I like to I wanted this to be like a weekly thing however there's just some times whereby i have to place my trades and allow them breathe so what i like to do now is i like to do them every two tuesdays basically every fourth night right so every so if i do a trader talk this tuesday i'm not going to do another one next tuesday and then upper tuesday i'm going to do another one why because i just need to allow the market time to breathe and same thing for you guys as well um, i know you guys want to trade a lot but sometimes it's always advisable for you guys to set those trades and give it time for it to breathe. If not, you're going to find yourself constantly getting in and out of trades. Now, obviously, this depends on the kind of trader you are. If you are an intraday trader, that's absolutely fine. But I personally, I like to take time off the charts and kind of like do other stuff run other businesses like my e-commerce business but that's not what i'm here today i'm here to talk about some forex charts okay but before i get into the chart i wanted to highlight something interesting that happened last week so we kind of got a message from one of the iml most of you guys know who iml is imarkets live the um multi-level marketing company that claims to be trading forex we got a very strong message from one of their chairmen they call themselves chairman chairman of what i don't know but you know and then they were kind of pissed off at us because they have been losing a lot of students to the forex mastery. so they've been losing a lot of members to our um <coughs> forex mastery course and i actually did notice that because um, a lot of people that are joining the Forex Mastery program now have actually realized that what IML was doing wasn't the right thing. They were not actually teaching them how to trade. Instead, they were telling them to sign up more people, to sign up more people. And the feedback that I've been getting from people who left IML and have joined Willis University, that is the Forex Mastery program, the testimonials have been, I have been getting are absolutely overwhelming. And I'm very glad that at least I could solve that problem because there's no point paying a monthly, how much were they paying? $150 every month for pretty much nothing and they were unable to be profitable. And now they've moved to Willis University and they've taken the Forex Mastery course and the Forex Mastery course is $99, one fee upfront, no monthly subscription, none of that. And the quality of the education on the Forex Mastery course program is actually i have never seen anything like that not because i'm the one that put it together but i'm just saying like it is it is just the absolute truth and the most professional way to look at the market and the most professional way to trade the market and yes i know i got a lot of message from most ex iml people thanking me i want to say that i saw your messages i'm sorry that i couldn't respond to everybody's messages but I see your messages and I am very grateful for the fact that you guys trusted the Forex Mastery program and you came. And I'm so glad that you guys found the Forex Mastery course very helpful because when I was putting it together, I was a bit, I was like, I hope people appreciate the information that I'm putting on here because it is so much, you know, agony and pain over the years of losing and losing putting together all that information and then refining it and teaching people what works and what what works and what doesn't work in the forex market okay you know so that's exactly what the program is about the most realistic approach to forex trading not teaching you how to go and sign up more people to sign up. we don't need that in forex in forex we want to be self-reliant we want to be able to make money for ourselves from the market and that's exactly what the forex mastery course stands for it is your ability to go in okay go into the charts break down the charts from a higher time frame perspective scale down to a lower time you know identify directions massive moves on higher time frames and then scale to lower time frames and then trade in that direction just recently um i was actually recording an update for the course which is going to be fantastic if you haven't gotten the program i suggest you do the link is going to be down below it's just 99 dollars. it won't literally hurt you right so just recently i just concluded a new module like an update so I'll keep on updating it at no cost by the way 
and the update is gonna include <clears throat> it's gonna include um entries like people want to know you know entries strategies to use on lower time frame so i'm going to be sharing my entries and exits over for the last six months all the trades that i've entered and exited over the last six months why i entered enter them why i exited them my entries my exits my entry and exit strategy basically you know as to how i trade the forex market so that's going to be the new update and obviously i'm going to be updating the course with trader psychology as well so all you forex mastery students you have nothing to worry about is going to be automatically updated to your platform so you have I feel like you have the best resource in Forex I think you know the the the, the primary reason I actually created the program was I wanted the Forex mastery program to be the last bus stop for any Forex traders education journey I wanted this to be the end all be all so that you guys don't need to keep spending money on education I wanted this to answer all the questions and solve all the problems and so far so good you guys seem to be loving it. So enough about IML and all that crap. Um, I'm gonna jump into my screens right about now. Once again, it's amazing to see you guys. Let's hop onto my charts. Um, do I have a couple of trades to show you guys today? Yes, I have a couple of trades that I placed. I wanna talk about how they're doing and what I'm gonna be doing um, for the week ahead and if we can find some trading opportunities for you guys as well. So guys, yes, let's go into my charts and let's jump in right about here. Okay, okay, people, welcome inside of my screen. <clears throat> yeah, welcome inside of my screen, people. Now, um, like I was saying just uh, shortly ago today, um, I want us to go over what we spoke about um, last Trader Talk, which was volume 12. This is volume 13. I like all my Trader Talk episodes to kind of like link into each other. I don't want to come here and be talking about this trade and trades that like I want there to be a pattern. I want you guys to see as things unfold. I want you guys to be able to follow me through my journey of what I'm thinking about and the trades that I'm placing. This is very key and very important. So one of the one of the very um very key pairs that I went over last week was actually AUD USD. Now I, I predicted a reversal on AUD USD whereby I was so certain that um, we were going to take out this level. So if you went back to the previous trader talk, you would know that I, you know, I called that we're going to break this level and we're going to um, kind of like retest it to collapse to the downside. And that's exactly what has happened, as you can see very nicely and clearly. Um, and I'd also predicted that the next level target was going to be here. And if we broke here, we're going to come here as well. So, guys, the market has gone on to do exactly just that. We're kind of sh a few pips shy from our 0.7377 target. Um, I do feel in the coming days, we will most likely bleed to the downside. Um, today is just Tuesday, so... We need to give the market a couple more days for it to obviously melt all the way back to the downside you know but so far so good we have been able to anticipate this reversal pretty nicely when i did the video i think the market was trading somewhere around here my entries were somewhere around here and for me my trade is still very much open um for some strange reason um this spike was supposed to have stopped one of my trades out for break even However, I have no idea why my broker didn't close me out for this trade. Um, but all things being equal, I think it was probably because I did not move my stop losses to break even, which is very, 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 very strange of me. But I guess a mistake has obviously paid out in my favor. So we're currently in this trade at the moment. My entries are at 0.75546, if I can remember correctly. So what was the ideology behind getting into this AUD USD trade? For me, it was very simple. Forex Mastery students, you know this already. Um, we had spotted a head and shoulder pattern on a on a weekly time frame forex mastery students you know that once we are able to spot a trend reversal pattern what are trend reversal patterns i.e um head and shoulder um stuff like um head and shoulder double top inverse head and shoulder and double bottom so we had spotted a major left head and right shoulder on the weekly time frame the neckline was broken and i told the traders simple and straightforward wait for a breakout a pullback to test the neckline forex mastery students if you check module six no no module three four no module four talks about 
how to trade invest how to trade chart patterns the right way we don't trade at the breakouts we trade what are the retest of the neckline and we always know that the market is most likely going to break out to the same amount of pips that we stuck in or rather we were stuck in while we were inside of the range okay so we have broken out of here a retest has happened and i'm expecting for the downside now i can see very clearly i mean this is not exactly the best trend line but this is a trend line whether we like it or not and this guy is actually going to be here and will most likely cause a problem so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use my yellow bar like so to highlight this area around here because i feel like we might see a push out from this level somewhere about here and i'm obviously going to delete this so i'm expecting the market to kind of like push down for a couple more pips before we eventually obviously start heading to the upside okay um so that's pretty much it for AUDUSD. i still feel like we have some room to the downside now ladies and gentlemen if we can take out 0.73373 guys i feel like 0.700 should be our next level target if we can take out this level but i i know this level is going to put up a fight um because i just feel like maybe we might want to come in here and i don't know what's going to happen i like my duty here is not to try and predict you know i mean we can predict as much as possible but i don't want to try and predict the market movement itself like in terms of how it's going to oscillate you can't do that the best you can do is predict based on current price movement and your kind of like your immediate targets we can do that but for us to say okay the market is going to come here do this do that do that and go i always see people do that on instagram and then they end up being wrong most of the time for me what i like to do is i like to do break of structures flow of the river from higher time frame identify what direction is this market going in and then i can now use my key levels to anticipate okay we've broken this one we're going to go to this one we break this one okay we form the double bottom of this one change and trend it and then we can anticipate i can do that but for us to come and like draw the lines and be like okay it's going to come here you find out that most of the time you're going to be wrong and that's not the best way to go about it so for now it's a clear sign to me we're going to come here i hope i pray we break this level i'm going to hold on to a couple of trades if we can break lower that would be amazing i don't know how possible that is i'm not the market so i'm only going to trade based on what i'm seeing and at the moment this is the next level target and i've obviously been able to lock in some of my profits um, my, my stop losses are somewhere around here so if we poke up a little bit i might get stopped out for obviously for some profit i just hope we stay below here and then push all the way lower now the next pair i want to talk about is the euro dollar okay so the euro dollar is, is kind of like in a similar scenario as AUD USD um, I'm still in the euro dollar trade my entries were somewhere around here Forex mastery students go to the already existing module on entries and exit you know how I like to enter the markets break of counter trend line you would see exactly how I entered this trade it was so simple and straightforward don't forget we had anticipated this breakout how did we anticipate this breakout it was so simple and straightforward we had drawn our trend lines our trend lines had pretty much told us all the way from here that this was already going to happen okay so there was a clear breakout from this trend line and as you can see it was a clear breakout so it was a breakout a retest and a continuation so once we saw the breakout retest and already on the higher time frame this was a double top so double top heading all the way back down bricks trend line just starts telling you this is a change in trend we broke this trend line we poked out a bit i oh, this is always my favorite setup once we poke out a bit right and then we pull back to test as you can see it came back to test the outer point of this trend line and also this black line that has been acting as resistance and somewhat of an issue for the market the market came and was now kind of like testing underneath it and there was that guy that roof going to the top as well it was a no-brainer all i did was i scaled to a four hour time frame and then i looked for a potential selling opportunity it was a breakout retail continuation my entries were somewhere around here a counter trend line setup and then ever since then guys we have been pretty much you know rigmaroling all the way to the downside 
I have taken out 50% of my profit about here. The market has come in and has poked all the way down here. Now, looking at the market so far, I can't really say if this market might want to head lower because from what I can see on the four hour time frame, I can see a left shoulder head, right shoulder might form about here. So the deciding point for euro dollar will definitely be here. Okay, to be honest, on from a lower time frame perspective, if we come in here and I start to see a bullish engulfing four hour candle, I will close this trade entirely. Why? Because there is a trend line somewhere about here. There's a trend line just somewhere about here. Give me a sec, guys. There's a trend line which is which actually wants to form a uh, what's this called? Who actually wants to form a wedge? Okay, so the problem is a lot of people will. So it's kind of like you know, X to so this is so we run into X to A to B to C to D to E fire down. All right, cool. So I'm just counting the X to E wave count. Okay, cool. So there you go, guys. So because of this bad boy that has been touched, and we have had a bullish engulfing candle off of this bad boy, and this is how the market works, guys. The market just doesn't reverse. It will first of all come into a major area. It would show you evidence by how it bounces off of that area. This is a bullish engulfing daily candle. First danger sign. Now, it will also go on a lower time frame, i.e. like the four hour time frame or the one hour time frame. And around that area, around that major area it will most likely put in a chart pattern so this is exactly how you use chart patterns guys on higher time frames you look for the overall chart pattern on lower time frame you use chart patterns chart patterns only mean something when they occur at a major level for instance around this area is a major area of interest because of that trend line that wants to kind of like form the triangle that looks this way so i'm going to be looking out for the euro closely if we come in and form a right shoulder and break lower thank god we're going to come here but if we stick around here and start looking like this and we start looking like this ladies and gentlemen i feel like the euro might fire all the way back to the upside okay so for now i'm still in this trade i'm going to be watching it this will kind of like be this will kind of be like my deciding um factor this level about here will be the deciding point if indeed i decide to stay in this trade or leave the trade so as you can see it's a very systematic approach it's so simple and straightforward we sold as the market was coming lower, already from tra Trader Top Volume 12, we already knew that this area was going to be a problem because of that bad boy that was here. It has come here, we've bounced off of it. So around now, we're just kind of like chilling. Is it going to hold or is it going to break? If it holds, we have to get it the hell out. But if it breaks, thank God, we continue selling. Now, for people that are only able to come to higher time frames to anticipate this, you will notice that a lot of people will get into this euro. They are in a lot of profit. This is exactly what used to happen to me before in the past. I would be in a lot of pips, a lot of profit, and then the market is doing, 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 giving me some nice, I'm, I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling nice, I'm feeling good, okay? And then all of a sudden, the market just starts to reverse, and I'm thinking, okay, it's okay, it's gonna go back down, and then, only for me to realize that it actually came to a major level and if i scale down to an even lower time frame to see the chat pattern on that you know that area of interest i would have noticed that a chat pattern had formed you know on the lower time frame around the area of interest i'll take it again i'll be in a trade the market is going in my favor and then we get to a major point but because i can't because I, I didn't know how to trade or analyze on higher time frames, I wouldn't see it. I would just know that my profits would just turn into losses. All that money I've made would just turn around and then, you know, and then the worst part about it is once you're in profit and then you, you give a chunk of that profit back to the market, you get angry. I'll give you an example. Let's say, for instance, this market comes in here and turns around and then comes all the way back up and the market eventually goes to what stopped me out for maybe 
not as much as I wanted to make or even comes to stop me out for a stop loss. Let's say that happens. What will most likely happen is I will be so angry and I will start looking for the very next trading opportunity and most of the times I will be looking for a sell opportunity because I know I sold before and it went down, it should go down and only for me to realize that the market actually has fully reversed. So the, the next trade I will most likely trade place will actually be a losing trade because it has clouded my judgment. I have failed to realize that a reversal has happened because I just didn't know how to do what higher time frame analysis. This is the, this is very key and very important. So I'm not gonna waste too much time on the euro. This is my verdict, guys. The euro has been pretty handsome to me, uh, probably up maybe plus 13% on this trade, which is pretty nice. Quite happy about this. Um, we haven't really had any home run trades recently because of how annoying the market has been. So for us to see ourselves back in some profit all the way in July, it was very. I'm really happy about this, and I'm really, really, you know, you know, this is one trade and AUD USD as well. Now this takes me back to what happened from from all the way from last week in March, April, and May was deadly treacherous months <laughs> treacherous months because the market wasn't exactly giving us a clear direction and most traders were just stuck in the euro usd range but look at guys all the traders who understood what exactly was happening okay and traded less actually were able to preserve capital to be able to take advantage of now that the market has actually broken out i'll take this again guys the market can remain irrational. What does irrational mean? The market can run mad longer than you can keep money in your trading account. It, most of the time, the range, the uncertainty usually outlast most traders' trading capital because during the uncertainty, people are trying to buy and sell and buy and sell and then lose all their money during that uncertain period. And when the market eventually opens up, like it's opening up now most traders don't even have enough money to trade the open up and then they say forex doesn't work nah you don't work you don't understand the game it is a mental game you have to be this is how you beat the market anyways guys once again if you want to hear me talk more about this in detail, the Forex Mastery program is going to have this. So I've covered AUD, USD, and Euro Dollar. Let's see what GBP USD is doing. All the USD pairs are pretty much doing the same thing. Um, GBP USD looks like an absolute mess. I'm not interested in that. It's annoying me. Gold. Let's see what gold is saying. Let's see what gold is saying. I think gold wants to pull back into 1826. I feel gold wants to pull into 1826. For a further catalyst to the downside sorry for gold i have taken out all my key levels i must have been um trying to explain something to somebody uh, maybe a student or something i'm gonna delete everything just by looking at the bear chart just like so so simple and straightforward i'll just put my green bar here come to uh daily time frame weekly time frame sorry and just have a quick look just by looking at this, the weekly time frame is having issues because of this green bar about here. As you can see, we have popped back, back down below it. From a weekly time frame, I can tell major candle. Don't be fooled by these three candles. This green, these green guys are just as if they are a res, these are resultant candles from this guy. They're stretching back. The deciding point for gold will be this green bar. If we come to this green bar and we are unable, we fail at this green bar and we show some redness to the downside, it's a sell for me. But if we break above, oh well, you can go. But I'm still kind of bearish on gold. So this green bar will be the deciding factor for me. Um, what do you do about this? You simply come to the daily time frame. I'll be watching uh, the daily time frame for this bad boy about here. So I'll just be watching this. So this is gonna be, see my, 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 my charts are so easy and straight. Nothing too, too much. It's nothing too much, man. It's nothing too much. It's nothing too much, mate. It's simple. It's simple as shit, all right? So all you need to do, mate, is when the market comes in here, just watch out for it. If you see a red candle, it's time to start selling. You get what I'm saying? And then if we see a break above, just leave it alone so you don't lose some money. You get what I'm saying? So just wait for the market to come in here. And if you see a red bar, start selling. And then the market is going to come all the way down here listen brother it's so rocky science all right so it's exactly what i'm gonna say on gold sorry about that guys <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm a bit pissed off England lost at the finals. Um, I wish I was... Uh, obviously, I'm stuck in Dubai. I can't fly back to England because England Boris isn't letting us fly back to the UK because we have to quarantine for 10 days if we want to get back in. I wish I was at the Wembley. I feel like if I was at the Wembley, I feel like if I was at the stadium... Rashford wouldn't have missed the penalty because Rashford is my guy. I just told him, Rashi, yo, Rashford, make sure you score the penalty, all right, mate? Peace, he would have scored it. Same thing with Sancho and same thing with Saka as well, but unfortunately, they missed the penalties, but I mean, three Lions all the way. I respect those guys. They got to the finals. It was absolutely amazing. Um, shout out to them. Um, shout out to all my mates on the, on the, on the, UK, on the English team. Um, and obviously, I say no to racism. All the racist chants and comments have been absolutely disgusting. There's absolutely no need for that. So, guys, obviously, once again, shout out to all my African brothers who are the ones that are always watching my channel. Shout out to you guys. I hope my videos are always entertaining enough. I hope I'm able to shed a lot of light on how you should go about trading. Guys, do yourself a favor. Grab the Forex Mastery course. It's going to help you dissect the market like that. As you can see, it's such a simple thing. Simple thing, guys. And between 1824 and 168, you're looking about a space of about 1,600 pips to play with. So if we come here and we fail, pray we fail here, or more, it goes sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying to the very end of this trader talk. I'm going to take you guys to my other screen and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Let us go. All right, people, so there you go. Thank you for staying till the very end of this amazing volume of Trader Talk. Yes, 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 I know this was um, a value-packed one. All I was doing today was basically sharing my thoughts on the market and basically showing you guys where I think AUD, USD, and the Euro is going to head to for the next couple of weeks, if not even months. So your duty as a trader is to position yourself accordingly and use your lower time frame strategies and feed and key into the dynamic direction that we have been able to see on the higher time frame and for once again forex mastery students i'm going to be updating the course um whereby i'm going to be talking about my entries and exit strategies that you can use if you haven't grabbed the program the link is going to be down below don't forget to do that once again thank you so much for staying to the very end i love you guys that's my time peace out